What's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to get Marshmallow on your Galaxy S5. So here I have a Galaxy S5 running standard lollipop. So this is just ordinary lollipop. No root, no nothing. If I go into status, yeah. And then I go down to there, device status, it's still official. There's no root, there's no nothing. So first of all, we're going to go into download mode. So we need to power off the device. All right, so we'll get rid of your carrier's custom boot animation. So now we're just going to go into download mode. So we're going to unplug the charger, make it a bit easier. All right. If you don't unplug the charger, it gets a bit harder. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the power button, the bottom um, volume button, and the home button simultaneously. So you hit them and just let it boot up. So it's vibrated. All right, and now it gives you this little message. So all you're going to do is hit this volume up button. So you continue by hitting the volume up, and it's in download mode. So now you can see here, here's more proof that this thing has never ever been rooted or had any of those things happen to it. So it hasn't got a custom recovery or anything. Sorry, just need to get it to focus. Right. So there you see under. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there. System status is official. There's no NOx warranty void or anything. Alright, so now what you're going to do is plug it into the computer. So I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Right. It's in. Download mode on. So now what we're going to do is head on to the computer. So you will need a computer to do this. Unless you're in like Russia or another place. Where you get the OTA so if it wants to install drivers just let it do what it needs to do I don't see the point in having the drivers installed there. so now you're going to open up Odin so my Odin at the moment is in here and you're going to run Odin now this is a pretty easy task it doesn't take too long Right, so you see, this needs to, this little blue icon here needs to shine. It's, sometimes it's a yellow icon, depending on if you have the new or old Odin. I have the new one, so mine's blue. Also, you're going to want to click AP and click the Yes button. So click, click the tick, and then you're going to click on AP. So click on AP. This might be PDA, also depending on your computer itself. So now you're going to look for your... Your marshmallow. This is the file you'll download. I'll provide the link in the description. You will need to make an account with, with um, Sam Mobile. There, you can make a free account. It's very easy. You don't have to pay a cent, and you get to download this. So, just make sure you sign up. Thank you, Sam Mobile, for uploading this. So, you click open, and as you can see, it says please wait. So now, it'll do that, and till it till it's finished. So let's just wait for it. Phone's not doing anything yet. You'll see. Alright. So you can see nothing will highlight now. And if you click start, it says not responding. Don't worry about that. It does respond. It just takes a little while. So on some computers this might be a bit faster. I'm running three I'm running four gig processor. It's a 64 64 bit computer. But I've only got 32 bit software installed, so it's not the fastest computer, but yeah, if you've got a fast computer, this process should be quite fast for you. Alright, there you can see it's setting up, and the phone's got a little blue line popping up on the side there. So, yeah, that's what it's doing. It doesn't take too long. I'm going to pause the video here so that you guys don't have to watch the whole thing installing and stuff, and I'll re -pause it, just unpause it just before it finishes. So, see you now. now. Alright guys, I'm back and it's almost done. You can see it's almost past the M and on the phone the blue line has got much longer. So it's almost finished. Shouldn't be too much longer. I had to unpause because otherwise you guys might miss the whole boot up thing. And then if something goes wrong you won't know what to do. So let's just wait for it. It won't be too long. Right, 
be you can see it's almost finished and it's gonna say clear all right reset pass and the phone is rebooting so you can see there it's rebooting into recovery it's gonna apply the update now there installing system updates you can now close Odin on your computer as you don't need to use it anymore sorry about the whole shaking thing I'm using one hand to hold my camera all right so you see the Galaxy S5 is booting up now you'll see it's got the new marshmallow look the new marshmallow boot up screen so just wait for it to start there we go there's the new marshmallow boot up really really cool nice pretty minimal look to it all right so let's wait for that to start it starts up into the galaxy s style updating screen so i'll say up galaxy's updating Now you know if this is, you'll know if this is if this is worked or if it's bricked. If your device is bricked, your hard keys at the bottom will start flashing as soon as you start booting up. It won't even get to the Samsung screen; it'll just go straight to you. Those lights will just start shining, and your phone won't boot up. If it does this, and the, the blue light is on, and there are no button lights on, you know your device isn't bricked. It's working fine. So, I'm just gonna wait for the the um update thing to start and then I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back and this is what you will see when it finishes booting so now this is this means that your phone has started up it's not bricked it's working perfectly so this takes quite a while your boots up itself takes quite a long time so if it takes a long time don't worry about it just put the phone down go have something to eat do something just leave it let it do what it needs to do don't don't do this if you're in a rush because you're going to be waiting quite a while. So this is just going to optimize your apps and stuff. You don't need to reset your phone to do this. It doesn't reset your phone. All it does is upgrade it and reboot. And yeah, so you know it doesn't reboot it because you can see they're optimizing 45 out of 288 apps. Now those 288 apps are all installed on the device. So you see it hasn't reset it. If it did reset, like on a custom ROM, you would see that it's got only about 5 or 10 apps that it's going to actually optimize. And that's because those will be pre-installed. Now these apps, there's no way there's 280 pre-installed apps on your phone. Alright, so I'll be right back when this is finished. Hey guys, so I'm back and the phone is about to boot up. It's on 288 out of 288 gonna say starting apps I know this because I've done this on my own phone this is my mom's phone by the way just in case you guys were wondering if you guys keep up with my videos you'll see that I have actually rooted my phone and loaded custom ROMs including Cyanogen mod the marshmallow Cyanogen mod so this is not my phone so if you guys think I'm lying about the whole not being rooted on this phone I haven't this is my mom's phone and she wants marshmallows so I'm loading it for her and I thought I'd make a video about it so you guys can see how to do it too so now we just wait for it to open wait for it to start up it's not going to be too long alright so now it's preparing it's preparing the Android for, for startup so it's just just tweaking everything to make it that it works alright guys so I'm back and as you can see the phone is actually dead it's like it's got no battery in it I didn't realize it was so flat before I did this so I'm not going to be able to show you the whole start up and everything okay it's on 1% now so I'm not going to show you the first boot up as you could see it was doing the finishing boot after that it went straight to the unlock screen I unlocked it and it said preparing every well it wasn't preparing everything it was doing a, a SD scan and then it restarted so it didn't restart it just turned off battery's dead so I'm going to try to start it up. If it doesn't start up, I'll just add a link. You guys can see what Marshmallow looks like. I have it on my phone too. So you see it's starting up. As I said, guys, it's really dead. I have, plug I have got plugged in. So you can see it's plugged in there to my computer. But yeah, there again, the boot animation. Hopefully it starts up. If it doesn't, I will just post a link and you guys can see what Marshmallow looks like. You should already know because it's already out on YouTube. 
seen a couple videos about it already but if you want to see I will add the link I'll add it if this one starts up anyway just in case Alright, so you see it's about to boot up, blue light just went off, and it's on. And you can see it's charging on 0%, there it did that. You have to update your Google Play services, so you have to click on that button once you finished it. Otherwise, you'll, yeah, because of the new permissions thing. So otherwise your Google Play won't download things properly. So, let's see if this thing will let us actually work on it for a little while. Alright, come on. Come on, Galaxy. Alright, so you can see it doesn't want to be used. It's dead. 0%. So it's not broken. It's not bricked. It's not. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just tired. <laughs> it needs to be charged. So, yeah, I'll add that. Okay, there we go. Start it. Alright, so let's turn off the lock. Um. Yeah guys, I'm actually just going to let it go, I'm going to let it charge, and I'll be right back, 2% it should be working, so 